during my childhood, it really felt productive. I really felt productive working and catching lobsters and kind of chasing them. It was really fun and exciting for me. I just love how uh, peaceful and serene the water is. So growing up here was awesome. Uh, I loved going boating and going out to haul my dad. And um, so when I was 15, I started running my own boat. I got my captain's license, I think it was year 2016. So I've been uh, captaining my own lobster boat since then. I took an aquaculture class and actually really fell in love with it and decided the following year to volunteer on a farm. And the guy who was running the farm, he offered the farm to me and I decided to buy it. So these are uh, my, sec my second year oysters. These should all be ready to go next year. Um, it takes three years to grow my oysters. So I start them here at my seed sites where the water is a lot warmer. And uh, as they grow and they get bigger, I move them out to my purging sites where they'll, they'll stay there. The colder waters where we have our oysters, all of the energy of the oyster, instead of going into growing, is going into building up a really thick, hardy shell. So I clean the oysters really well. And when you scrub them up, their colors shine through. They're very meaty, but they're um, also very sweet and crisp. You can really taste the freshness. All of the people in the community that I've talked to have been really supportive. The land owners uh, have been really interested and excited that someone's you know, using the river, but I'm also growing a product that filters the water and you know, keeps the surrounding area of the river clean. When you see people out there kayaking and fishing, and then you see my oyster farm, and then you see lobster boats going by, everything is like all interconnected, and uh, we all just share the ocean. And I think that that's really important, and that's what I really love to see when I go out to my site.